What is going on guys, Carlos here from Live Gaming Paradise and we are back again with another Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild tutorial and in this video we're going to find out how to get the Dark Link suit. So the first thing we're going to need to, to do is to go right up north east Zunekai Shrine and it's like it's something called the eye something I still haven't worked out exactly what it is so once you're here if you got here at night perfect you can just jump off and and do the uh, and get to the bottom where the the guy is where the little uh, monster is that buys your things if not uh, you're gonna have to make a fire you know gonna have to um, create a fire or start a fire in order to uh, in order to uh, skip time and go to the night time I was looking for the best place to jump off but I think it's gonna be in front of the shrine uh, so let's get some wood I haven't got any uh, any uh, flint at the moment so the only way I can do this is either with a with a, uh, a fire arrow or with a weapon that has fire like a fire blade or something like that uh, I decided to go with a fire arrow I got plenty of those so create a fire and sit until night time one once night time comes along uh, we're gonna jump off this uh, shrine here and go down because there's gonna be something down there that that only appears at night and you can see it in the corner on the bottom of the screen so we're gonna jump off from the front of the shrine and uh, and go all the way down you can just drop off really and you know open your 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 glider just before you get down so there's this guy here and you probably don't know him like I didn't know him uh, and he gets really scared and he, he actually buys monster parts for a new currency apart from rupees now it's called mon mon m o n his name is Kilton and he tells you that he's going to open a shop uh, and there's going to be shops all over the place. Fang and Bone is what it's going to be called. And uh, he gives you your, his business card and then he takes it back again because that's the only one he's got. <laughs> so really funny, funny character. So we're going to need to find where his shop's going to be. And he only appears at night. He doesn't appear throughout the day. So he, he says he loves monsters and all that, that uh, stuff. So um, uh, once he opens the shop, we're going to be able to go there and exchange our monster parts for uh, Mon. Instead of rupees, we get Mon. And then with that Mon, we can buy uh, many, many different things. Uh, and one of those things is going to be the dark suit, which you, the one that you've got, like the red eyes. It's such a cool suit, such so iconic. I really, really wanted it. But there's a trick to it. Uh, the biggest problem is that just for the hood, it costs 199 mon. And to get 199 mon, it takes a very long time. And I will show you what I had to do in order to get this money. So I went to the, the Gar Kick Shrine to meet him for his shop. And while I was there, I was browsing uh, through the stuff that he had. I was actually doing another mission uh, when, when I came in here initially. Uh, you probably no noticed that I've posted a video and th this guy, I unlock him there. Uh, I unlock, unlock this shop and I was looking for something else, monster extract. But uh, while I was browsing it, this is why I didn't want to show you because I didn't want to spoil the surprise. I saw at the end of the list, the most expensive item he sells is the that suit, which is uh, comprised of the uh, jacket or a vest the hood and the trousers so you know at first i went online and i tried to find out how we can harvest uh, monster parts quickly and many people uh, said you can just go around and just kill anything that you see but the biggest problem is all of these parts are worth like six seven and i needed four thousand so i did i battled monsters i tried every everything possible i tried to kill many at the same time and then respawn and try to see if they were back there i even went to the to the coliseum and tried to kill all the monsters then finally i tried to do a molduga and this doesn't give you anything the molduga fins they're worth nothing like 10. so the only thing that i could do to get this quicker and it even even like that it took a very long time but not as long as it would take if uh, if i was doing it like this is if you go to the lake tower 
uh, open your map and, you, and go to the place where I've just showed you. And then we're going to go and uh, jump off to the bridge, to one of the pillars on the bridge, right there. Uh, just glide off to the bridge and then you're going to create a fire and this is the only the, the best option for you to harvest the morn very quickly because uh, each time you uh, get a shard of Shirook's horn it's going to be 150 a pop so you know it took me it still took me a very long time but much much uh, easier than anything else I've tried uh, so in here you you know you have to do it and then repeat and then repeat and then i'm just going to quickly show you exactly what that entails by repeating and repeating uh, i tried so many times a video is coming up now 20 times speed so you can see just how long this took me to do uh, but after that uh, you will get about 11 12 i had already a thousand uh, of those um, of those uh, mons uh, so I only needed 3,000. So I go about, um, sorry, I had 1,800 and I needed to get about 12 of these shards. So, so I went around and around and around. And, uh, you know, I think it takes a very long time, but not as long as uh, as you would take me if I went and got the, the bits from the monsters because they're worth nothing. And uh, for you to uh, be fighting monsters all the time, I mean, like, the, if you've already got some, then that's great. It will give you a head start, but probably won't be enough to get that suit because the suit costs 4,000 none. Uh, so once I've done all of these, as you can see, so many fires, so many times I've seen the dragon, so many times I captured, I, ca I, got, I got the shard, I, um, we're back in the shop and now it's time to sell the shards. I think I had, uh, yeah, I had 2,285 from the bits that I, um, that I sold him before. Because I was trying to get these things and come back to see how much they were worth, but they're not worth much. As you can see, this eye is only worth 10, and uh, these the horns are only worth 8. So you can see it's very, very uh, low, the value that it gives you for each of these items. But if you've got hundreds, and then yeah, it probably you'll get a little bit, but not that much, I don't think. Not not like the shard of uh, Farouk's shard. Lysifo's horn, 5. So you can see I got 210. What's that? You need 4,000. It's going to take you absolutely forever to do that. Look at this one. 150 foot per piece. I had 14. And that gives me 2,100 mon. That's exactly what I needed. So now it's time to buy that suit. And see just how it looks on me. I really, really like it. So 4,400 uh, we've got in mon. And then you go to the bottom of the list. You've got the dark hood. That will cost you, the most expensive uh, part is uh, 1999 and then you've got the dark tunic for 999 and then you've got the dark trousers for 999 And apparently this um, makes, you, um, makes you run faster at night for some reason, I don't know. That's what, that's what he said anyway. Uh, and uh, let's put it on and check it out. I'm really excited about this uh, suit. Really, really like it. Looks so sleek compared to, you know, uh, what you normally wear with Link. It actually looks very similar to what you wear, but in dark with the red eyes. Look at that. Let's take uh, my weapons out and, and check um, what it looks like without the weapons. Uh, here we go. Let's remove that one and remove the spear as well. So I guess this is it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you did like this video, if this video helped you, please give us a like and please consider subscribing so I can continue releasing more content like this. Also, click the bell icon so you can get notified every time I release a new video. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.